looking at some Star Wars minifigures. Now these aren't just some ordinary minifigures, these are from the Phantom Menace movie. And if you don't know, that is a Star Wars film. And since the films came out, that has seen a bunch of Lego Star Wars sets, and in those sets you have minifigures. So without further ado, let's jump straight into our 10th favourite Lego Star Wars Phantom Menace figure. Okay, so our 10th favourite figure is Jar Jar Binks. Now he's come out in quite a few different sets and we could be seeing like a, a brick helmet or like some sort of brick sketch or Maybe something like that. Maybe about 5 sets I think, 5 or 10 sets. Yeah, between that 5 and 10 sets he's come out in. And when he first came out I really loved his sort of like sort of hair piece which is really long, sort of looks a bit like bunny ears which are folded back. And that moulded hair piece yeah, is just yeah, really, really nice. And I love his time. eyes. Um, he also then has some sort of farmer sort of looking torso printing. Unfortunately no leg printing or arm printing but I think they do need to make a Jar Jar Binks and they have uh, Lego made a good choice there because he is one of the main characters in uh, Star Wars Phantom Menace. So Our ninth favourite Star Wars character from Phantom Menace is Anakin. Anakin! Now it's not the Anakin with the lightsaber on the one hand that kills tries to kill Obi-Wan, it is Little Anakin. Now, Little Anakin has his nice screw, or whatever that is in Star Wars, for his weapon, and he is this nice helmet, which yeah, has some goggles. Like, yeah, goggles things you see on a lot of Lego City sort of criminals. Mm. And maybe some pilots too. Yeah, yeah. And um, since he is a pilot, we definitely need to have those for his pod racing, that mm. body came in one set for. And his nice detailed um, torso also, and his chest plate which is very good, very, very good. His legs, sadly no printing, but and his arms are no printing, yeah. but he is a very good character and that's why he's in ninth place. So our eighth favourite Phantom Menace Lego Star Wars figure is Captain Tarble. Now he is basically Jar Jar Binks but with way more colour and way more detail. This character is just amazing. His chest plate printing is amazing. Yeah. With like a golden chain and yeah. sort of belt. It's sort of like military wear just to show his high rank. You have obviously the mix between the purple and like peachy sort of normal um, Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar skin. Then you do have the really nice moulded helmet, and not helmet, hair piece, um, which is really cool. Um, and yeah, so overall really nice figure. Again, they have those eyes, love that about these figures. Really, really cool. Um, great detail. And let's move on to number seven. Number seven is Captain Penarfa. Now, no leg printing, no arm printing. He comes with a blaster and he has quite a cool head uh, helmet. Looks very mold. Nice. Um, And then he has quite a bit of detail on the torso and the chest plate. And you have a belt and you have a mix of colours on this figure. Um, quite cool. What are your thoughts on him? Well, I love the gold for the helmet. You haven't yeah. really seen any helmets which is a mixed colour. And um, I love how he has these like colour pieces at the, where his neck is mm. in Lego. And um, well, they could have done arm printing most definitely because they could have done some red. Because I think in the movie he's like red uh, top printing out here. And yeah. So at number six, we have got Watto. Um, generally, the moulds and the different sort of styles the figure's done it is just amazing great cool and in very good detail so you obviously have his two wings which um very cool molded then you have, and very good yeah then you have his molded face with that long nose sort of like a more rounded head then you have this super cool sort of like belly that's uh, done really nicely and overall amazing in detail if i was going to rate it it'd be like an like an eight out of ten he has that belt too like on his waist which is mm. literally right, right here 
is yeah, the maze that just comes out. I think probably one of the most like um, molded pe people in Star Wars in Lego, and it's just yeah. really good. Yeah. Really good. Um, and if we were doing this on like detail and stuff, he would probably be one, one second. second. Um, but we're doing it on our opinion and the nostalgia nostalgia and how we like them how we like their characters and talking about characters we'll go on to the cocky and cheating pod racer pilot so next up at number five we've got sub over now i think overall really nice face mold i like how he has like two arms holding him up with a few bits of details on them and then you have just just this one big leg sticking out of the front of him that looks really cool and I like the just little shades of purple, a tiny bit of tan, sort of more humanoid colours and then I love his goggles and just general face detail. Mm. That nose and mouth when it sticks yeah. out from the mask, the face, the battle droid. Not just any battle droid, just the normal old plain battle droid. And the reason why we put it at number four is because if you think Lego have made the exact same battle droids for about 20 years, I mean like 30 sets, and it's just a great design. There's not much Lego can do to make it better, and I mean, except for like maybe having the, the ability to move their legs apart or something, a bit like a normal Lego figure. And maybe some like more head detail, even though it's very accurate. Maybe a little bit more detail to the eyes because it's mm. just like uh, the blank little hole. So yeah. So that's why I put it at number four. Let's go on to the apprentice of the emperor himself. First one, not any others. Darth Maul. But I really like Darth Maul because he's like this um, bit where you can just take off his. Yeah, and there's all the like horns, elaborate horns, which are really cool. And there's all this detail on, on like, his yeah. cloak and stuff. Yeah, his robe is one of the most detailed Sith robes. I think and I've arm seen. printing, let's go! Yeah, and there is arm printing, which is really good. Um, and I just love the Zabrik sort of face look on all those, like, Savage or Pressed Off Moon. When he says smile. The printing, yeah. And I love the smile. It's good to see, like, you have Palpatine with a big smile. You have Dwarf Maul, and I think I'm missing one other person who has a really nice white smile. Um, sort of a weird sort of dark Sith grin. But it's nice to see um, Darth Maul to have those white teeth, uh, like um, the other Sith Lords they could that have, have that smile, instead of the yellow teeth. Yeah, they could have maybe put some more crackler teeth into there, because just maybe a slight bit of yellow teeth but not so much to yeah. make it real yellow because it looks nice. So the second figure is Queen Amidala. Now first off, we just need to talk about that head mold and head print. It's just absolutely amazing. It looks like a rainbow on like yeah. head. So extravagant, it, it's just beautiful. Quite accurate as well to the um, actor who played her in the movies. Some of you might think we're crazy, but have, if you have really seen the figure, you will agree with us because the all movies. that detail, yeah, and the movies, all that detail on her um, like body, torso, and legs. Now and I right. love that feature where her sort of like robe comes sort of like down and it looks like she's properly wearing a, a dress and it looks amazing. Um, and overall, I think it definitely deserves second place. But me and my brother both just prefer our number one figure, which is guys. Our number one is Viceroy Gunray, and I know some people might be like, "Oh, he isn't in a Phantom Menace set." But the reason we put him him in this set is because he's in the Phantom Menace, and they have made him in Lego. So you know, we just put him at first, um, Why because we really like the figure. Generally, his like helmet slash crown, amazing there mold is. and good paint and then you have his sort of like robe which you which is very cool then you have his face and his but just look at that detail on the robe yeah really nice and then the face facial prints just really cool and even though he's a bit of a coward and not the bravest or most scariest villain in the films he's a slut 
sort of, he is sort of like a space sort of smug, but in a human version. Um, it's really dark that he is doing most of the work for him and coming up with a plan. But if you saw that Lego figure in the action figures, you would think he's quite a bad, badass, really. Or not so badass, it's just a really cool villain. But in the film, it sort of didn't go so well for him. Uh, and yeah, so with that said, um, that is the entire list um, for you. And that is the end of the video. So if you like these sort of videos and if you want to see the Attack of the Clones one, the Return of the Jedi one, or just the other films, come down um, below. comment down below, say yes we do want them or whatever and click that like button and if we do another one of these click that notification bell so you know when it'll come out yes and speaking of the notification bell the thing to the left of it is that subscribe button which we would love if you hit thanks for watching have a wonderful rest of your day peace out